I store explosions in the cargo hold. Of course. Europeans once traveled west. Yeah, yeah. We were mostly trying to one-up each other. It's one of the stranger dick measuring contests in history. We're like, oh shit, Spain's going? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh shit, England's going to Portugal? Well, that means we have to go too. Ba, 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 da, da, ba, ba. That's what we did. What is this? So this is an abyssal fish. A barrel eye. Dude, this guy has a see-through head. His forehead is huge. If I was a fish, I'd be a barrel eye. A bizarre creature with a transparent head housing tubular eyes that can rotate to the point upwards as well. Okay. Nice. I'm kind of a freak. Yeah, I'm a gamer fish. I've got RGB in my head. That's pretty sick, dude. Transparent skull is all the rage these days. These things actually exist? Barrel eye? <laughs> I just all tapped out. I was reminded of this guy. Um, not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, barrel eye. Oh my god, what? Well, I'll be damned. Deep sea fish are the fucking weirdest creatures that exist in the... That's insane, mate. Genuinely, if you've never watched a documentary on deep sea fish, there is some crazy shit out there. All kinds of weird bioluminescent stuff. I had never heard of this before. That's wild. Yeah, it's actually insane. Also insanely creepy. That's amazing. I had no idea. If you would have told me that fish was not real, I would have believed you. Subnautica isn't that far off, no. Well, maybe a little. So this is the uh, the radiant squid again. Subnautica is amazing. Highly recommend that game if you've never played it before. I like the first Subnautica much better than the second. Even though they're standalones, if you are trying to buy one, I recommend the first. Fuck Subnautica, I never want to go near any body of water ever again because of it. Nice. Yeah, that sounds like a you issue, but... It is a great game, highly recommend. I didn't ram the dock? True. That's what you... No, no, Marty, come on. Okay. More fish is required. Okay. You set the charge and light the fuse. The debris crumble away. Is that cloth? This is not even cloth, guys. I think this stuff is supposed to be more rare than cloth, but I found loads of this before, um... Uh, I guess I'll discard this. That was it? I find that hard to imagine. Are you kidding me? That was the whole purpose of this whole area? Do I use more explosives? I was gonna say, that seems kinda dumb. <laughs> Do 
Do we care about the fact that these villagers now no longer can go across or? Ah, oh, they can use the other bridge. It looks pretty stable. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is much like the Europeans going west. Fuck up the local populace? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. Bye. Dude, this is a really long fish. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna sell all my stuff, put some of my other things in storage, and then I'm heading off. Made some good progress today, guys. There it is. Salt 16 fish. Let's go. Uh, we'll put this in storage as well. Very nice. Okay, so we have way more cargo space right now. Mm. We'll repair everything. Yeah, we'll have to just go out and just gather things again. Hey, I can get this thing right now, though. So, modifies two rod spaces to also hold nets. So that must be that thing right over here on the, yeah, on this side. If I uninstall this, I move it over here. I should be able to now buy the big net. Now, I don't think I can currently afford it, because it's probably expensive. Hmm. Yeah, we need $360. That's gonna be the next goal, but I'll probably forget next time I play. Anyways, I'll rest over here just so it saves, because I think it saves every time you rest. It doesn't seem like there's any problem with a load of days going by anyways. I hope. So, I think we should be good. Guys, we're back. I played this game two days ago. I set a reminder in the chat. Loco, get a big net, catch some fish, sell them, then get the big fishing net. This is what we're going to start off with today. I've been upgrading my little boat for a while and I have unlocked this, the large trawl net. I... How much do I need for this? $360. I can actually sell this one. Yeah, I'll sell that one. And then I'll buy this as soon as I can. Okay, okay. We'll just go around for a little bit. We'll catch some fish, sell it all here, and then um, we'll call it a day. Where am I? Okay, I'm at the research outpost. Ah, right, I remember what I was doing. We'll get to that in just a moment. This game is really fun, though. And then in case anyone has got any questions, let me know. This is every gamer's favorite genre of game. It's a horror fishing adventure. Horror and fishing are the greatest combination when it comes to video games. There seem to be multiple versions of each fish. This is a savage barracuda. It thrashes about ruinously, jaw snapping and tearing its own flesh apart, a buddy sundered by ravenous hatred. Yeah, the world's a bit messed up. In case you're wondering what in the world's going on, uh, things aren't so happy. Yeah. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, they came out with horror fishing. Genuinely though. It's so cool that, like, you know, smaller studios actually create these really creative projects these days. Uh. Ah. Uh, okay, fine. You get to live. Thank you, Starboy, for the 27 months. Welcome back. You, re you didn't realize this, this is something you needed, right? Horror fishing. With Tetris inventory management systems and point-and-click storytelling. It's, it's, yeah, it's not really something you uh, realize you needed, but I highly recommend it. The Dark Souls of fishing games? <laughs> I mean, it's not super difficult, but it is definitely an adventure. Alright, here we go.
What's horror about it, Loco? Uh, I can show you. So, there's a day and night cycle. I'm actually just gonna go and sleep over here. This is the most recent area that I've been to, and there's uh, a couple of quests that I have. I have a few assignments. Hi, Loco. Rewatching your the Sekiro playthrough right now. Does chat remember the Granny Slayer? I am the Granny Slayer, dude. XX Granny Slayer 69 XX is what they called me. Thank you very much. That's a Thor. Tier 3 resub for 47 months. Hell yeah, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I am trying to do this quest right now for the research assistant. So, I need to collect samples of an anglerfish, a stoplight loose jaw, a giant amphipod, and a snailfish. The problem is, those fish are in an area that I, I don't know, I just casually went to some time ago. So I was like, hey. Apparently, they're in the deeper end of the water, right? So I decided, yo, I'm just gonna sail off over here. This is where I need to be. <laughs> um, it's fine. I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten attacked yet. Maybe you only really get attacked if you move around or if you stop moving around, Rotter. Anyways, the Kraken seems to live. Um, right over there. So, I have repaired this thing. Right over here. That allows me to temporarily disable that... Whatever it is. The Kraken. I don't know. There's a lot of tentacles, yeah. I haven't been able to stop playing Sekiro. Now I'm looking for different ways to reverse lightning outside of just jumping for fun. Oh my god. Pete, didn't you... Didn't you platinum... Sekiro, a couple days ago? You finished all the achievements for the game and you still keep playing? Activate the machine, yes please. The repulsion machine hums and wears to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top and an alarm begins blaring. Okay, so this should keep the creature at bay for a little while and hopefully... ...is gonna give me a chance to try out my bottomless lines. This is a new... Yeah, a new type of fishing that I've just recently unlocked. I haven't tried it out yet. I also have my troll net. So we're gonna be dangling that right below. Okay. Tentacle man seems to be gone right now. I don't know what this is. A snail fish? The fish begins to implode as it's dragged to the surface. Oh god, a calcified snowfish. I think I'll just keep catching the different types of fish until I get most of the variations, even though it doesn't really do me any good. I think I actually move on out of these fishing locations a little too quick. I should probably just catch them and then... I also don't really know, by the way, how long... Um, this deactivator thing... Oh wow. That's huge. A golden band large enough to fit around the child's waist. All manners of gemstone are affixed to it, seemingly at random. Okay. Let's go, dude. Anyways, I don't know how long this uh, thing in the background keeps making noise for, so... We'll have to see, I guess. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's a giant's wedding ring. Okay. Was this one of the fish I needed to bring to the lady, by the way? Snailfish, yeah, that's one of them. Okay, so the lady I need to bring stuff to is at the old fortress right over there. I'm gonna bring it there manually because last time I accidentally sold all the fish. Everybody in Twitch chat was making fun of me. It wasn't even so much the uh, the fish that I lost, but the embarrassment that I suffered because of it. So, I'm just gonna bring each of the fish individually to the researcher now. It was pretty funny for you guys. Yeah, true. Which one do you want? There you go. A loose jaw, an angler fish, and a giant amphipod. Okay. 
Uh, can I maybe store this over here? That would be nice. I think some of those fish only come out at night. I remember White Knight, yeah. Apparently you can indeed uh, go at full force. Against the dogs. Without taking damage. Okay. These are not things I need, so I'll go ahead and sell them right here at the fish market again. And we'll just be getting a little bit of cash. May as well. I still hear the thing in the distance. Okay, we can also see it still making noise. That's kind of nice. I have no idea. Oh, okay. It literally just ended. I was going to say, I have no idea how long that is active for. Okay, you can immediately see the tentacles again as well underwater. Um... I should most... Oh god, those tentacles actually go really far. Hey, another boat. It'd be kind of neat if that was multiplayer. Kind of like in Dark Souls, you know? But I'll go ahead and activate it again. So my character also starts hallucinating the more he's awake for, or like the longer he's awake for. Which I don't really understand very well, but... Good on NTW, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Is there no fishing spot here? Oh god, look at that. So it is most definitely still there. What is this? Hey, dude, I don't like how the camera just tilted like that, but anyways, I found a fish that I need to have, or, well, I don't think this really counts as a fish. Loco does red glowy things or power-ups? Thanks, man. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Last time, one of those power-ups hurt me quite a bit, and I had to repair my ship. But I'm sure this time it will be different. Are you saying it's like Mario? Oh shit. Fuck. The all-seeing cod landed on deck? What is this? All-seeing Call of Duty? Uh, don't know what i do with that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the research lady. Yeah, the research lady is over there. Although, I will snatch a couple of things here on the way out, if I can. I'm a little afraid that the noise in the background is going to stop here. As I'm fishing. Which would be really bad. But I've been broke for most of my playthrough, so... There's no Twitch Prime in this game or anything, guys. You can't even gift other people fish. I don't want to be broke no more, okay? No Twitch Prime. No Twitch Prime, NTW. I know, a horrifying discovery indeed. A researcher, I have got the second specimen. Now I just need to get the anglerfish and the loose jaw. So these are both abyssal. Every time you go here, you hear uh, bottles. I 
I mean, I've just gotten started with the stream today, Butcher's Echo. I don't think I should already start selling out that much. Okay, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night. You think I should be selling out already, though. I do appreciate that. What? What even? Okay, nice. Like that? I like that a lot. Ah, jeez. Did I hold down the button for too long? What even happened? Don't your... Isn't your screen supposed to be red when it's about to explode? Ay, ay, ay. Nah, we're not gonna sell out yet, guys. Maybe later, okay? Hey, anglerfish. I don't know if Tentacle Man can hit me from here, but I hope not. Well, this sucks. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Oh, maybe I, I, oh, maybe I got one of those power-ups. Yeah, maybe it was one of those power-ups that hit me. Can I sleep from 4.50 until 6 in the morning? And now my character's no longer hallucinating? Yo, that's one hell of a power nap. Hey, have you played Northgard? I most definitely have played Northgard, yet. Yes, I think there's a playthrough of it up on my second channel? If so, it should be loco.tv slash Northgard. I believe so. I am fairly sure. There is? There is. Guys. Guys. Today it's time. We're Today it's time. A game called North Guard. Look, I fixed that little piece of hair on your forehead, bro. Hey, look, I had the cat in the background then, too. Look, look, he's there right there. Oh. Oh, I thought for a second this was his face right over here. I was like, what the fuck? How do you... But no, that's his- that's his tail. I got- I got a little confused there. Yeah, that's back when I had a dedicated cat cam, but the problem with a dedicated cat cam is that you have to keep moving the dedicated cat cam, because the cats don't really sit still for very long. Somebody suggested a- a GoPro. The problem is with a GoPro, guys, is that you would get live action feeds of him licking his ass, which... I don't think that's the type of audience I want to cultivate necessarily, man. I could attach a selfie stick to his. Ca yeah, no, no. I don't mind loco. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Vincent. The fact that you don't mind is exactly what the problem is. <laughs> okay, I need to keep the angler fish. This one's rotting. Oh no. Sell, 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 sell. This one's also rotting. Ay, ay, ay. Sell, 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 sell. Firefly squid? No, that's not what I needed. Okay. Onlymeows.com. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No, no, no. What the? F I don't want to rot these. I guess these are still fresh because they're in the net. Yeah, we're okay. Dude, I have so much money right now, I have $800 to my name. Mm. I'm fucking balling. Okay, now I have a little less, because I needed to repair, but that's okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna once again... Oh, oh, jeez. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna once again go over here. I like how I keep, by the way, making full circles in that direction, when I could just go anti-clockwise and get back to this location much easier, but... Anyways, don't worry about it. Is it an endless open world? Yeah, yeah, it just keeps going. No, I, I tried going as far as possible and then I got eaten by a fish.
There you go. Now I just need the loose jaw. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna go... Do the thing. We're gonna sleep until nighttime. Actually, it's already almost nighttime, so we're perfect. I'm gonna activate the, the noise. And then we're gonna start fishing for abyssal. Loose jaw, that was Loco's nickname in high school. I don't know what that means, and I don't know if I'm comfortable with it, so I'm gonna go with no, that's a lie. Okay, activate the generator. Go ahead, activate it. Thank you. Now we gotta stay in the abyssal range. What are you? No, not what we need. I think Abyssal is like the slightly shallower section of this area. Although I don't really know. Is this something I can fish? Oh god, that's really deep. No, we gotta stay here like I think on these rocks somewhere. Roughly. This is probably also too deep, but maybe? No, Hadal or Hadal or whatever the fuck this is. Um, that's, I think, deeper than the Abyssal one. Because I needed to get a specialized rod that does both. I mean, we can have a little peek. I mean, I'm assuming it only appears at night, but I might be wrong. Well, all I really know is that the really deep ones that are over here are all with the Hadal tag. That's all I know. And if I go slightly shallower water, it seems to be abyssal. But maybe that's coincidence? It's just been that way in the ones I've encountered so far? I don't know. Yeah, so this one is abyssal, and this doesn't seem to be as deep. I'll catch a couple of them, but I don't think... Uh, well, I mean, I've already got these. Okay. Got another one. For my uh, encyclopedia. Something slitters into your cargo hold? That seems like a problem. No. Suddenly we find all the fish that I uh, was looking for earlier. But not the ones I actually need. Maybe it's around the outside of the island? That could definitely be. No. This is all coastal. I mean, it says infected, but it doesn't really do anything bad for me, it seems, so I don't really know. I could definitely throw it overboard. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to do anything wrong. I can discard it. There you go. Uh, we're looking for one fish for a quest. I've already forgotten the name, but I know what it looks like. Yeah, no, we don't need... It's definitely nighttime. Loose jaw. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna stay around this little island, I think. At night. So we'll sleep for a little while. Until probably like 11 p.m. or so. Yeah, it's in the abyssal zone. I know that much. Okay. Uh, 
Oh. Don't think beaching my boat here would be the smartest decision, but what do I know? What is this? Oh, oceanic. Okay, no, those are... Those are a type of catch I haven't really had any use for yet. I wonder if oceanic is even deeper. At least I haven't had an assignment for any of the oceanic fish, but... This game's kind of tense, man. It's actually wild. <laughs> you know, I actually really love this about streaming, though. Like, you always, as a streamer at least, who does, like, a variety of games, you always make a list of games you plan on checking out. And a horror fishing game wouldn't have made the list. And yet, this game is actually a banger. Hello. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, like, off of description alone, I probably wouldn't have checked it out. But this game is pretty sick, dude. Thank you very much, Cell Car. Welcome back, 58 months. Oh god, oh god. Fuck. <sighs> That's not ideal. What was that? That's what happens when you're up too long in this game. Like when the Eye of Sauron at the top of the screen is going fucking mental, and that seems to be based off of how long it's been since my character slipped. If that thing is going crazy, suddenly we start taking damage from things that aren't real. Yeah, this game... It basically tells you that when you fall asleep, it fixes your mental uh, problems. I don't know, guys. That's a wild concept. I've had some pretty sad periods in my life, and then I went to sleep, and then I woke up still sad. Didn't seem to do much. Just sleep more? Oh, okay. You should be a therapist, Alagdar. Um, I guess I'll just sell this shit. Just take the opposite approach of Arnold. Just sleep harder. Yeah, don't sleep faster. Sleep, sleep harder. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to repair my thing. Any suggestions, guys, for where we should find this Snapjaw thing? Maybe it is during the day. You think it's in the encyclopedia? I haven't I haven't caught it yet though. Is that the snap jaw? I think it might be. Maybe that one? I don't know. I'm currently in the Marrows? Is that where I currently am? Or is this just an indicator of location? Oh no, this is the Snapjaw right over here. Stellar Basin, that's where I am. Okay, so it says daytime and nighttime, I suppose. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'll sleep until the morning. Yeah, I'm in Stellar Basin right now.
We definitely got to do something over here within the basin, though. Yeah, for sure. My character sleeps on the boat as well, man. It's fantastic. Okay, we dock over here, we turn on the thing again. That scares off the Kraken, hopefully. Although we don't really know. Hey! What's this? I'm gonna get a golden one right away, bro. A gulper eel. Oh god, look at that shape. Few humans have ever seen this eel. Its great gulping jaw can open wider than the length of its body. Okay. No, no, chat. No, no, no. That is not what we were trying to get, but it's also not what you thought it was. Ooh. Nice. That fish actually exists? I'm gonna Google this fish. A gulper eel. So wait, it can open wider than the length of its body. Also known as a pelican eel, a deep sea eel. Is it the best picture we, we can find? In the North Atlantic, it seems to have a range in depth of 500 to 3,000 meters. Loco, click the link. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna get creeped out, man. Oh, it's a tiny little fish! Is this the front or the... What am I looking at? I think that's the front. Oh, bro, don't zoom in so far. Stop it. Stop with the zooming in. You're, you're creeping me out, man. I can't tell what the front is and what the back is. Well, I mean, that the, the, the tail is the back. I get that one, but like... Oh, it had its mouth open right there. I see. Well, unless he never... At least he never goes thirsty. Dude, that is wild. Oh, look, there's his eyes right over there. He looks like Pac-Man with a tail. Dude, fucking deep water creatures are mental. I watched the documentary of these like two scientists who went down in like one of those little tiny, they kind of look like helicopters, but ones that are supposed to go underwater. And they, they use those things just for research, right? And they basically mentioned something along the lines of, yeah, these expeditions are so difficult to do and so expensive to pull off that we basically find new species on every trip. Like, species that we didn't know existed are found every fucking time. It's like, okay then. <laughs> What's really ironic to me is that we'll be a hundred times more likely as humans to go to the moon before we go, you know, regularly to the deepest parts of the ocean. Which really only is like, you know, a couple kilometers in comparison to fucking Mars. Yeah, water is really heavy, I get that. And there's very little incentive for us to go down to the bottom of the ocean. I get that too, but still, it is kind of ironic that millions of kilometers away is more manageable <laughs> than fucking... That's insane, man. Oh, 
There's probably some oil down there, Loco. Ooh, maybe we can use that. Guys, I can't find it. I guess I'll go to the, the scariest part. Where is it? So this is all a hot doll or hey doll or whatever. Can I fish these things? If I get close enough to these... No, 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 I can't fish those. No, 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 stop it. So they should appear during the day and the night. I think I'm just fishing in the wrong area. Uh, fuck. Hey, Minokami! What's up? Thank you. Nah, I don't think this is anything for me. Good thing I turned on the lights. About to beach my little ship here. Maybe this? No. This is coastal. Thank you for the 50 months, uh, Minokami. Oh, I do have a net, actually. Yeah. I don't know why I can only have, like, one of those things on my selection screen at a time. It's kind of silly. It seems like a console uh, port limitation type of thing, but... Yeah, those red lights are... Um... Are bad. They deal damage to me whenever I uh, get close to them. Yeah, I understand that you can turn off uh, the radial dial from the net when you've got it deployed, but like... The fact that you need to have it deployed and then you can only have one select thing, it's kind of silly. Like, I've got a lot of keys on my keyboard, man. I could use a separate button for every single one of these things easy peasy, but especially for things you most commonly use, it seems kind of silly to hide it behind a radial dial, but... Anyway, it's not a huge problem. Guys, I don't know where it is. It can't be that hard to find it, but... I'm struggling. I've been looking for about 20 minutes for the one damn fish. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, let me know, but it's somewhere in this area in the Abyssal region. I, 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 you know. I don't have much more than that. Yeah, they might be outside the basin then. That's the only thing I guess that makes sense. I'll go I'll go on the outer side of the of the basin I guess. That's why I just saw one of those other fish, those angler fish things that I was looking for earlier. Is this the abyssal region do you think? Did 
This is shallow. Really? How is this shallow? I can't even see the floor. The fish are shallow, loco, not the water. Yeah, you're right. I said it too, and I hope nobody was gonna point out the obvious. What's going what on, Flying Lurker? Day for fishing. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Haha, <laughs> what's this? Is this what I'm looking for? A fang tooth? Not what I'm looking for. It's only got one tooth, it looks like it's got many tooths. Hey, thank you very much, Flying Lurker, for the tier 3 resub. I appreciate that, man. Today is apparently the day of tier 3 subs. That's super generous, guys. Thank you. Ooh, little red light over here. That is something we haven't seen before. That must be it, bro. That's it. Isn't it? Yeah, that's it. A loose jaw. Perfect. Oh god, a perished loose jaw? But it's fresh. A few ragged scraps of skin hang like cobwebs from its fins. Its exposed muscles are riddled with small white worms. Haha! -ha! Underwater worms! Those are my favorite. Now I know it's difficult, guys, but if you had to pick one worm. <laughs> just one, I know, I know, this is hard. Would you go with underwater worms? Or land worms? We need a worm tier list, is what we need. Nidus worm is your favorite? Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna wake up the researcher lady. Do you think she's up? Is it weird if I knock on a lady's door in the middle of the night holding a snapjaw fish? I know there are some dating experts in the chat. Is it frowned upon? She did ask for it specifically, yeah. Plus, she got her light on right over there. Or is it a snap jaw? I don't fucking know what it's called. A loose jaw, whatever. I'll get a couple squid as well. Maybe she likes those. Those fit really well right here in my little uh, inner inventory Tetris. Oh, nice. A radiant squid. <sighs> A horror fisherman simulator with Tetris and Frogger. That's what this game is, yeah. Oh, dude, she's still working. My god, she keeps working. Maybe that's pajamas, I don't know. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Always the bad news, always. The bad news is that the samples you... The samples you retrieve from the basin are no good because they're dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormality or abnormalities rather in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. The thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report for my findings, or on my findings, sorry, our findings, immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me and I've not got much to say, uh, or to say thank you with. You should have this. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful for you. Thanks again for your help. Bro, I spent hours and hours. I got a book? I mean, I did it out of the goodness of my own heart, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course, that's what we did it for. Thanks for risking your life. Here's a book.
Uh, where am I going? Still a better love story than Twilight? I got recommended to watch Twilight the other day on Netflix. I watched 20 minutes of that movie, dude. <sighs> Can't recommend it. I was like, no, I'm, I'm very dumb. Okay. I've got some still fish, but... The music is nice. Yeah. The music is actually good. But I mean, that has very little to do with the movie, I guess. Okay. It was on while I was playing RuneScape, yes. What are you trying to say, Barnacle? I feel like you're judging me right now. Um, okay. Okay. So wait, I did the thing, didn't I? I still haven't found the relic, though. Wait, have I? Stellar Basin. Oh, I think I have found it. Oh, is that the thing I've got in my inventory? That is that the thing? Uh, or am I... where is it? Am I storage? Oh, that's the thing, dude. I think that must be it. 